Well, welcome to my market report, the first one for the month of August. Now, July was actually a pretty good month for stocks. The market rose quite strongly. Of course, uh, in America, it has now regained uh, its old high from the start of the year. Uh, April and May were particularly bad months. And indeed, the Australian market in the first two days of this month has done particularly well. It was up 1% on Monday, and it's up strongly today. Now, the election is not proving to be a big issue for markets. The only stock that it affects directly is, of course, Telstra. If the coalition wins... Telstra will almost certainly go up because the uh, new government will uh, use Telstra to expand its broadband policies and it won't be uh, building a government-run competitor to Telstra. So that would be good news. Of course, the bookies still have the Labor Party as winning, so it's difficult to bet on it from an investment point of view. But one of the reasons the market is strong is, firstly, uh, we've got good earnings numbers in the US. Now, one thing that American companies are very good at, they're good at recognising their problems early, getting them dealt with, writing off the costs and things, and then getting back to business. We've seen this with the automotive companies. Uh, Ford, in particular, is um, providing some pretty good qu quarterly earnings numbers. And this is flowing through to Australia. Positive uh, mindsets in the US from an economic perspective are good for our share market and that's the reason it's up. Now another reason the share market is going up is continued corporate activity. One of my specialties in the market is following takeovers and for the past couple of years during the global financial crisis and its immediate aftermath we didn't see the sorts of bidding levels that we were used to in 2005, 2006 and for the first half of 2007. That confidence is now coming back. We've seen uh, private equity bids for health scope and uh, HealthScope went out at a higher price of $6.26 uh, than was expected. Most people thought, myself included, it would sell for less than $6. Uh, just this week, two of our biggest agricultural companies, uh, Grain Corp and the old AWB, the former Australian Wheat Board, have decided on a friendly merger. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that someone else will bid for Grain Corp, uh, sorry, for AWB, but I, I think it's unlikely. And also in the uh, listed property trust sector. Now, listed property trusts were absolutely smashed in Australia during the financial crisis. Uh, many uh, viewers would, would probably sadly have uh, been shareholders in Centro, for example, which even though it has recovered somewhat, is only worth a fraction of what it used to be. But lo and behold, Stockland, which is one of the bigger property trusts which came through the financial crisis in pretty good shape, has made a bid for retirement village operator Avon. The bid's priced at $1.50 a share. The stock's trading at $1.55, and I reckon there's a, a better than 50% chance that this hostile bid will be negotiated upwards in order to come up with a better result for unit holders. So, for the time being, the market's reasonably strong. Keep your eyes on Wall Street. Essentially, positive uh, earnings results from American companies will be very, very good for our market. But of course, over the next month, leaving the election aside, we've got our own profit reporting season. And given that the market has been so volatile, I can guarantee this. If companies come up with good results, that is results that are better than expectations, their share prices will move up. Conversely, if companies disappoint on the negative side, their share prices will be hit hard. So volatility is going to be with us for some time yet.